I'm afraid, but Beautygate on iPhone XS and XS Max is real. If you check all your selfies, you'll notice that your skin looks a bit too red and it's very smooth, so it looks like a beautify mode has been applied. If just like me it drives you totally nuts, please let me tell you, you can easily fix this. Coming up. Salut YouTube, it's Christophe Langlois. So let's see how we can quickly improve the quality and the look of your selfies on the iPhone XS and XS Max. So first of all, we need Snapseed. You need to install it. So here it's already on my iPhone XS Max, but let's click on App Store if you don't have it. Click on Search, then you look for Snapseed and Snapseed is here, click on it and you install it. It's a very handy app, which is free, which now belongs to Google. And basically it gives you a lot of different features and abilities to modify the look of your images. And that includes raw images as well, by the way. So now that it's on your device, click on open and this is the screen you're gonna reach. So if you want to edit portrait mode selfies, I'd like you to, first of all, change the amount of blur. So before you start editing it, because you won't be able to do so after processing the image through Snapseed. So let's go to photos. Let's select the image you'd like to uh, improve. So let's say that one, for instance, I click on edit. And as you can see, I can change the level of blur. So let's put 2.8. That looks decent. I click on done. So that's the picture I'd like to modify and improve. As you can see, I look red and uh, it's my skin is smooth here, far too smooth and lacking details. So back to Snapseed. What I'm going to do, I'm going to click on the plus or the open on the top left. I click on open from device. I'm going to look for that specific picture. And this is me. So I've got three options on Snapseed on the bottom of the screen. One is looks, second one is tools, last one is export. So I won't touch looks right now. I'm going to click on tools. There are loads and loads of options here and ways to modify your pictures, as I said before. In this video, which is not a tutorial for Snapseed, I'm going to insist on the first two options, which are tune image and details. Tune image. So that's the screen you're going to see. So you've got your selfie open here. That's the source. At the top of the screen, you've got the feature, the characteristic you're going to be modifying here, brightness. And if I touch anywhere on the screen and swipe right, I'm going to go to plus 100. If I swipe left, I'm going to go to minus 100. And uh, if you want to see the difference after and before applying the filter, you're going to click and hold the icon on the top right of the screen. I'm going to hold it now. That's the original picture. I'm going to release it. That's the picture after the filter is been applied. Click it and I release it. So that's a good indication of how the pictures looks following the various uh, filters you applied to it. So if you click on the second icon at the bottom of the screen, which is the settings icon, then you've got all the features slash characteristics you can change via tune image. So I won't go through every single one one by one. I'm going to show you my own settings. So right now, those are the settings I'm using. Again, you can fine tune it and change them for uh, any specific uh, picture. But if I show you the difference, so this is after, so applying all those um, modifications. If I click on the icon at the top of the screen, it was before, this is now. What do you think? Looks pretty good, right? So now I'm going to approve those changes. So I'm going to click at the bottom right of the screen and I'm not done yet. I'm going to click on tools and I'm going to click on details. The same difference, same type of screen. Now we've got only two options. One is structure and one is sharpening. So now let's see what I'm using. 20 and 25. And now let's check it out. So before, after. If I zoom in, after, before, after. It seems subtle, but you'll see again the final outcome. So I approve. And this is the picture. I'm going to click on export and I click on save a copy. Et voila. So now I'm back in photos and let me quickly show you the difference. So that's the original picture. That's the picture after the edits. What do you think? Before, after, before, after. Pretty good, no? And we're not done yet. So now I'm going to go back to Snapseed. So this is the picture. First of all, uh, check at the top of the screen. You see the square with the arrow. So I click on it. I click on view edits. You can modify the edits. So I click on fine tune image, click on the settings. And those are the settings I applied. So 
you can always change that you don't have to uh, use the very same settings all the time or if you feel like my god the structure should be even more accentuated and see more details and now look ugly and old uh, you could do that so i'm gonna just cancel that but it's possible original and after the settings original after the fine tune image and after the details as well so you see the difference i'm going backwards the last thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna click on looks then I'm going to swipe left and I'm going to click on the plus here. What is he going to do? He's going to save a template. So I'm going to do final selfie fix exclamation mark. Okay, so you can see now I've got the final selfie fix in the thumbnails here, which means that from now on I can use that setting directly. So I'll show you now. So I click on open and I'm going to open any other selfie. So hop, I'm going to open that one. Pretty cool selfie, but again, I look so red. So now I'm going to click on final selfie fix and this is it. So you can see me now. And if we check before, so that's the original one. And that's the one after using again Snapseed with the settings I shared with you. I think it's pretty cool. Export, save a copy, and that's done. So now let me do the same for all the pictures which are in my album, and I'll show you how they all look like. Okay, so now let me show you the difference. This is before, this is after. So here again, I applied the template we created together, but the original image wasn't that warm or my face wasn't super red. So that's why here I look a bit too white. So I would have had just to fine tune it on the fly for that specific picture. Same story here. I look a bit white, but again, it's because I had just to fine tune it. Now it's gonna be more obvious before after I go back before after before after again looks pretty good I could be more extreme again before after I think that's pretty striking the difference here before non portrait mode after again before after pretty good before after non portrait mode and before after you see the quality here and same difference i wasn't super red so here i could change the ambience a bit and make things a bit warmer but i think it's pretty spectacular the difference and this is a quick fix once you created your template you can seriously edit in less than five six seconds boom and you've got your new selfie and you can upload it onto social media so is it a long-term fix okay probably not i'm still hoping that apple will recognize the problem and then decide whether to add a beautify mode and enable us to switch it off or just to fine tune their image algorithms to make sure again it's not beautify by default so much but in the meantime i think it's a great fix so more importantly what do you think if you like the video please give us a thumbs up it's very useful and it keeps us motivated if you didn't like it you know what to do but please leave also a comment to tell us why you didn't like it and consider subscribing it helps us a lot it helps the channel so thank you so much for watching i see you in the next video merci beaucoup youtube à très bientôt salut